We have April here with us in the tank, and uh, many of you know April. She's been attending the church for quite a long time, and her her father attends with her, and uh, her husband Doug comes often, and uh, we'd like to invite them if they would like to come up. You guys may come right up here, and uh, we'll just invite you up right now if you'd like to do that. And I am highly inspired by April. April has been battling some health challenges in the last several days and um, the enemy has been really after her, uh, striving to prevent her from having this moment. And uh, I remember just looking last evening, I actually, we actually call, I called her yesterday uh, she was having some, some real health uh, struggles, and uh, she said, I don't care what the enemy does, he's not going to stop me from being baptized. Amen. And let me say, friends, that that ought to be an encouragement for us, some of us here, who have not made that decision in our lives to give our lives to the Lord Jesus. That ought to be an inspiration for us to say, you know what, if, if April is that determined, there must be something about this Jesus that can change my life. And we need to make our decision for Jesus. Amen? Got on her Facebook last night. She says, I don't care what the devil does to me. Tomorrow is my day with Jesus. I'm going to be baptized. And uh, April, I've seen just an amazing transformation um, in her life in the last several months. When I came here, she was always just happy and go lucky, and, and um, she, uh, she talked about uh, wanting to be a member of the church, and, and I, I hope you don't mind if I just kind of make a little, she thought she was already a member, and we said, well, let's check that out, so we looked, and, and, and we said, no, you're not, and, and we said, but you can be, we would love you to be, and so uh, she actually began Bible studies with Nancy, and Nancy's hiding up here, uh, we won't ask her to jump in, she doesn't have her proper attire in, but she's waving from behind here, but Nancy has been studying with April for a number of months. And just to see that transformation. And last week, she sat in my office and we visited. And I could just, you could just sense the love of Christ, love for Christ, and the love of Christ just exuberating out of her heart and out of her mouth. You just, you just look at her eyes and you can just see this, this glow that loves Jesus. And uh, so I'm very thankful for that. And I'm thankful for her determination here. How about you? She has a little testimony that she would like me to read. Unless you, you still want me to read it? I think you can do it. She can do it. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, as the Bible says in Acts 22:16, Why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized. I was already thinking about this and I've been wanting to do it especially after seeing my son Dominic do it and be baptized I wanted a fresh new start and a new relationship with Jesus I've been baptized before and yes it meant a lot to me but a lot's happened since 1995. I have tr tried to live on my own without him, and it never works. Because I lost sight of him, and I left his side. But he has never left mine. He's always been there to pick me up and make me feel new again. So this time, I would like to truly be new again. 
completely spiritually new again. I do not want to wait any longer. I want to arise and be baptized a final time with the Holy Spirit present, cleansing me with new life. Amen. So April, we praise the Lord for that decision. We're thankful for your family that's here with you, especially Doug, your husband. And uh, we're just so thankful for each one that's here to support you. you got a lot of support in this church mm -hmm. and a lot of people that love you. And uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions as well and invite you to answer those. And the church is going to confirm that with amen. But uh, do you believe this morning, April, that the Bible is the inspired word of God? the spoken and written word of God, and that it is God's word for us today, that it is truth and is an authority for our lives. Do you believe that this morning? Yes, I do. Amen. Amen. Have you accepted Jesus as your personal Savior and he, that you can confirm by, that by faith he's given you a new heart and made you a new person? Have you, have you accepted Christ? Yes. Amen. Amen. Is it your desire to be ready for Jesus when he comes in the clouds of heaven? Is that your desire this morning? I can't wait. Amen. <laughs> is it your desire for everyone else to be ready? Yes. And especially your family? Yes. Amen. Church? Yes. Amen. Is it your desire this morning to look to Jesus by faith each day, trusting only in him and only in his righteousness for everything that you need? Mm -hmm. Amen. And is it your desire this morning to keep all of God's commandments by His grace and by His strength. Yes. Amen. And is it your desire this morning to unite yourself with this local Seventh-day Adventist church family here in Lansing, recognizing that upon that, you have a family globally mm -hmm. that is yours. Is that your desire this morning? Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm so happy. So happy this morning. We'll have prayer for April. Father in heaven, Lord, here stands a young woman in the tank that against all odds, Lord, of the enemy, she's here, ready to be made new in Christ. In fact, she's already been made new, but this is just confirmation. This is just a witness to everyone else of what you've done in her life. We pray for her. We pray for Doug. We pray for each one of their family. And we know, Lord, that they have been battling some, some severe challenges in the last few days. But here in this moment, we find great joy. We find great peace. We find great purpose and satisfaction in doing your will. And we ask you, Father, to bless her and to bless the family, to draw close to them in a very special way. And we look forward to the day when we'll all stand together with you on the sea of glass before your throne, singing your praises for eternity. We ask you to bless April and the family in a special way now. And may your Holy Spirit draw near to them and surround them and be in them. May your angels attend their home and their family and their needs. And we just thank you, Father, for the great joy that we have in Jesus. And we ask that just now in his name. Amen. Amen. April, because of your faith in Jesus, your love for him, your desire to follow him, and give your life to him this day, it gives me great joy now to baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, His Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is true love, amen. 
a family being willing to get themselves all wet to give her that hug. Amen. For Richard and uh, family as well, we were thankful for that, Carla, and for Chad. They did the same thing. That's true mother's love, right? Amen. Well, I want to take a moment just now to make an also an invitation. I know that there were others that... Um, that are, have been thinking about baptism, have talked to me. And there may be somebody here who hasn't been thinking about it, but because of the decision of April and Chad, you, you're starting to think about it. And you sense the Lord Jesus calling you. You sense him saying, I need to make that same decision to give my life wholly to Christ unreservedly and to commit my life to him, to allow his power to transform my life, to allow him to change me, give me a clean heart, and to make me new. You may be thinking that today. You may be wrestling with that decision. You may be thinking, but what about this? And what about that? And, 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 and I feel unworthy. And I'm not good enough to come to Christ. Well, you know what, friends? None of us are good enough to come to Him. But He invites us anyway, doesn't He? He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And let me tell you, friends, you're not going to find that rest anywhere else in this world outside of the arms of Jesus. Amen. You're going to search your whole life for it and come up empty. So today, the Lord Jesus may be calling you to say, come unto me. He may be speaking to your heart saying, let me give you rest. He may be calling out to you and say, come and be part of my people. Be my son, be my daughter. I'm inviting you today. Jesus is giving that invitation to you. He's pleading with you today. His arm is outstretched. He's calling you by name. I don't know who you are, but Jesus knows. Maybe there's somebody here today that says, I want to make that decision. I want to make that decision for Jesus. I don't know what it all means. I, I have obstacles in my life. April had obstacles in her life. But the Lord met her where she was, and he worked those obstacles through for her, and he can do the same for you. There may be somebody here today that says, I need to be baptized or rebaptized. I need to be a part of God's people. Would you raise your hand if that's you today? The Lord Jesus is saying, Come follow me. Would you make that decision for him just now? Amen. Praise the Lord. My dear sister, I see a couple in the back there as well Thomas and Ella. I see a couple of other hands. Are there any others? It says, The Lord Jesus is calling you. Don't resist. Come to him. Amen. He's pleading. And I would plead for you today to follow the voice of Jesus. Is there one more? Are there any others? Amen. All right. I don't see anyone else. But praise God for those that have raised their hands this morning. Can we have a prayer together as we conclude this portion? Father, we thank you so much for those who have made the decision today to follow you. And Lord, I know that there are others who need to make that decision. I know that there are others sitting right here. I pray you'll just continue to impress upon their hearts the need, the desire to follow you completely. And Lord Jesus, when we're baptized, it does, we know that it doesn't make us perfect, but your sanctifying blood makes us what you want us to be. You draw us back into your image, and you make us perfect. So we ask for your presence to be with each one today. And we thank you. We come in Christ's name. Amen. For our children's story, and those of you that are familiar